Good day everyone, this is Mara Javier, the co-CEO and founder of Upgrade. I am also joined by Miriam Hernandez, this is the co-CEO and founder of Upgrade. Today, we will present to you our project pitch. Upgrade is an initiative for undergraduate public administration majors who are interested in innovating drug demand reduction strategies for sustainable cities. Upgrade serves as a continuum of the previously conducted policy round bag initiative of the Quezon City Futures Lab. Upgrade came from the conjunction of the words up and create, which aims to provide an avenue for University of the Philippines public administration majors like us to create solutions for the issues and challenges that a sustainable city calls for. One concrete example of this is a startup pitch where we are focused on our mission to create drug dem demand reduction strategies for sustainable cities so that we can put into reality our vision of living in a safe community that is free from substance abuse. To achieve our goals, we have created this civic startup pitch entitled Tala Chatbot, which means Tele Rehabilitation Aid Live Assistant Chatbot. A civic startup business canvas for the drug demand reduction agenda of Quezon City 2050. When we were in the process of crafting our planning document for Quezon City 2050 scenarios, and while we were in the process of planning for our policy brown bug discussion and interviews, we were exposed to a number of problems faced by the Quezon City Anti-Drug Abuse Advisory Council, or CADA. One of the problems includes is the involvement of the youth in a myriad of substance-related issues and challenges. This includes the lack of youth participation in drug preventive education initiatives. As mentioned by Ms. Cristela Buen, the Action Director of CADA, they were specifically challenged to introduce preventive education programs to the youth because of many of them do not want to be involved in the said advocacy. It seems like the topic of substance abuse remains a very sensitive topic in our society, especially in the youth sector. Another problem is that most of them resort to peer influence and pressures with the additional risk that most of them lack the necessary knowledge about substance abuse and its impact to one's overall health and well-being. Ultimately, there is also the problem of lack of accessible platforms for psychosocial services for substance-related problems. Most of the psychosocial services are only offered through face-to-face -face consultations and it remains inaccessible to most of the residents of Quezon City. Hence, we decided to pitch this project, TALA Chatbot. TALA is an acronym that stands for Tele-Rehabilitation Aid and Live Assistance Chatbot. It is a software application used to conduct an online chat conversation via text or text-to-speech in lieu of providing direct contact with a, with a live human agent. Practicality, reach, service, and innovation are the primary reasons that prompted us to create this software application. In terms of practicality, we want to develop a user-friendly, inclusive, sustainable, and cost-efficient that serves as a primary tool for preventive education that is suited in the 21st century. Second is reach. We want to merge e-governance with the official social media pages of CADA in Facebook and Messenger, which are two of the most used social networking sites in the Philippines. Apart from this, the chatbot that we are planning to integrate into CADA's Messenger app is, is very accessible to its users which can remain accessible without incurring data charges from the user's cellular carrier. Third is service. We want to boost the psychosocial services provided by CADAC in partnership with other stakeholders such as universities, the academe, and the health sector in providing tele-rehabilitation and virtual consultations with medical professionals, social workers, and volunteers. Lastly is innovation. We want CADAC to be the pioneers in innovation wherein this project pitch can serve as a chatbot model or user interface to serve as a stepping stone for other metropolitan anti-drug abuse councils to, to develop their own. Upgrade respects your fundamental right to privacy and we commit to take great care in safeguarding your personal data. As you make use of our TALA chatbot and in compliance with the Data Privacy Act, 
we share with you the principles that govern how your data will be processed, collected, and shared. So why do we collect your data? Depending on your transaction, we may collect and process your personal information for the following purposes you may, when you make use of the chatbot. We, co we collect your Facebook username so that we may address you properly as you engage with us through the chatbot or with the live agent. Should you decide to transact with one of our agents, your Facebook username will be visible to the handling customer care chat agent for case association. Through this association, the handling agent can check your past created cases, if any, and verify if there's already an existing case with a similar concern. We collect your mobile number so that we may check our records about your usage when responding to the transactions you initiate through the chatbot. When you wish to talk to a live agent but the customer care chat agent queue is full, you will be given the option to create a case description. Your mobile number may serve as an initial information for the case creation that can be referred to by the agent who will be getting in touch with you. When you create a case description, we will also collect additional contact information from you such as an alternative mobile number and or an email address to help our live agent in reaching out to you to address your concern. So now let's move on to the features of the Tala chatbot. First is the mental health addiction test screening tool. Online screening is one of the quickest and easiest ways to determine whether you are experiencing symptoms of a mental health condition related to substance abuse. The users can use the math screening tool as a pre-assessment of their level of addiction. Collectively, this data can also serve as an assessment tool for CADAC in crafting evidence-based policies. To use this feature, the user can simply engage with the Tala chatbot after reading the terms of use and data privacy notice. At that point, a new chat box will pop out. From there, the user has only need to click the screening tool button. The link for the screening tool will be provided after taking the test. The user may opt to proceed with a live chat for other concerns and questions. Another is the ask you or ask question feature which will allow the user um, to uh, initiate live chatting with one of our staff. They may be, there may be times that the number of users queuing up for the live chat may exceed our manpower. And so, as mentioned a while ago, there are instances where we'll, we will ask some of your personal information like mobile number or email address to help our live agent reach out to you. On the other hand, there is also the safe spaces or the tele-rehabilitation feature wherein the users can ask for professional help regarding rehabilitation and treatment for drug-dependent individuals. A virtual consultation um, can be scheduled using the Tala chatbot. Tele-rehabilitation tele services can help its users to get in contact with medical professionals for a free consultation. Tele-rehabilitation services use information and communication services and technologies to provide rehabilitation services to people remotely in their home. This will serve as an online referral system where indiv individuals can get the help that they need. To use this feature, uh, the user can simply select Help menu and click the Safe Spaces button wherein will, they will be redirected to a live chatting session with one of our staff. We have the Balik Escuela, which is a feature of the chatbot that will allow its users who are out-of-school youth students to know more about the processes and procedures for the application in the various technical and vocational courses offered by CADA and also by the QCLGU for drug-dependent individuals who are undergoing rehabilitation and treatment. To access this feature, the user can tap the Help menu and click the Balik Escuela button from there. The user may click the link containing the list of educational institutions offering courses and the processes and requirements needed. The last feature is the online BKD. BKD stands for Barcada Contra Droga, which is an ongoing program of the CADAC for Youth Drug Preventive Education. This can also be oper operationalized using the Tala chatbot where its users can join online group discussions, share their thoughts, and create positive influences on each other. 
To use this feature, the user can tap the Balik Escuela button and under it, there is an additional information uh, provided where the user can join the QC Online BKD Facebook group just by answering some security questions. For the revenue streams, partnership ads can be incorporated into the Chala Tala chatbot where a wherein a business can run through their ads through the chatbot stream. Another is Facebook monetization wherein the user will be asked to like or follow the Tala chatbot page. A Facebook like can be monetized through the in-app advertisement that is run by Facebook. For example, if users have seen an ad from the Kadak page and clicks the like and clicks the like button, it will be counted as paid. In a way, this Facebook monetization scheme can also be used to generate funds for other miscellaneous fees. Lastly is the user donation wherein the user may opt to give monetary donations through details provided by the chatbot. Now we move on to the plan of action which is divided into four phases. First is the planning stage which is targeted to be completed by the end of this year. This stage includes the setting of goals, researching, seeking partnerships, and engineering the bot itself. Second is the internal testing and revisions wherein uh, wherein beta testing for some QC residents will be started and is set for next year 2022. This is necessary in order for us to create some adjustments during the first interactions with real customers. Third stage is the official rollout of the chat Tala chatbot. It will be made available to the public by the year 2023 to 2024. And lastly, upgrade aims to expand the bot by adding services and making it available to other cities as well as establishing institutional arrangements with various organizations. I believe that the creation and use of the Tala chatbot in the future will have an impact on one of Kadak's objectives in terms of drug demand reduction. Through preventive education and provision of psychosocial services to its citizens. Second, Second, we believe that through this Tala chatbot initiative, we can bring the government closer to its citizens with just a few clicks away from our smartphones. ICT and governance is one of the important keys in building sustainable, safe, and strat strategic cities in today's modern times. Third, we envision that through this Tala chatbot initiative, we can foster powerful linkages between the government and other stakeholders. Partnerships can foster between universities and academe who may be interested in the development of the Tala chatbot and also public-private partnerships with, with, which can lead uh, in terms of financing the project and other means. Lastly, this initiative can allow the Quezon City government to be pioneers in innovation in terms of preparing the way for other metropolitan and urban cities to follow and adopt the, the model of Tala Chatbot initiative in their own e-governance initiatives. Now let's proceed with the discussion of mitigating the risk accompanied in this Tala Chatbot initiative through the use of strategic foresight. Upon the planning for this project, we have identified three major concerns that may affect the creation of the Tala chatbot. First concern is manpower. Although the Tala chatbot is mainly processed by AI or, or, an, or an artificial intelligence, there is still the need for manpower in terms of the provision of professional help services and treatment through licensed medical practitioners. With this in mind, we believe that increasing CADAC's capacity to reach out to communities is vital in opening for volunteer opportunities. In this way, students, interns, volunteers, social health workers, and as well as NGOs and CSOs can collaborate for this initiative. Second is connectivity. Although the Tala chatbot through the Facebook Messenger app remains accessible without the need for mobile data. Other services offered through the Tala chatbot, like rehabilitation, tele-rehabilitation and virtual consultations, may require internet connectivity. Hence, there is still the need for a wider coverage of internet connectivity for the citizens of Quezon City. As of this moment, the local government of Quezon City provides free internet access 
through its WeConnect connectivity Wi-Fi in selected areas. Lastly is discoverability. Chatbots are still not that known to their potential users because it is still a new feature that was recently introduced in the year 2016. And so we believe that the power of proper advertisement and introduction of the Tala chatbot in the mainstream media is vital. This may be through the form of promotion in the Kazan City website or through its official social media pages so that it can provide its services to a lot of people living in Kazan City. Once again, this has been Upgrade and it, hit, and it has been a pleasure to present this project pitch with you. We hope that this initiative will open doors for partnerships and as well as long-term opportunities for collaboration. Let's look forward together to building not only safer communities, but a safer nation for the future. Let's build together a city that is free from substance abuse. Once again, thank you very much and have a great day ahead.